A table saw or a chop saw is normally used to produce the wedges, which are needed to produce the segmented rings, which in turn become part of a segmented wood turning project. However, this technique wastes a good deal of wood due to the wide kerf of the table saw blade. We developed a system to accurately cut these wedges on a bandsaw, and we call this system the AccuWedge. By cutting these wedges on the bandsaw, much less wood is wasted due to the narrow kerf of the bandsaw blade. In addition, cutting these wedges on the bandsaw is much safer than cutting them on a table saw. This video describes a prototype version of the AccuWedge, which we'll be introducing at the AAW show in Kansas City in late June. After some additional feedback from customers at that meeting, we anticipate a final version of the AccuWedge will be available for production in the fall of 2017. The Yankee Wedge has several unique features. It's constructed of a 9.5 inch wide by 15 inches long by 5 16 inch thick aluminum plate with four roller bearings mounted on its base. These roller bearings slide effortlessly on the rail of the Yankee Slice system to provide for smooth and accurate cuts. The Yankee Wedge uses the principle of two fences with an accurate angle set between the two fences. A similar technique has been used with wedges in the past on a table saw. However, with the AccuWedge, there's no need for the wedges. The angle for the fences is set with an auto-indexing system that locks the fences in place. The number of segments per ring is labeled on the table from 4 up to 72 segments per ring. These index angles have been precision machined into the AccuWedge table with an accuracy of better than 0.1 degree to enable the production of precise joints with no gaps between the wedges in the segmented rings. There are a total of 17 possible segments per ring selections that have been auto-indexed into the table, including the odd segments 5 and 7. The two fences are made from solid aluminum with a channel slot in the top for the addition of a variety of clamping systems currently under development. The clamps shown here are just a few of the styles that will be available in the near future. The all-metal construction of the Yankee Wedge provides for a quality system that is sturdy, versatile, and highly accurate. The Yankee Wedge has four roller bearings on its base, and each roller bearing slide on the rail on the Yankee Slice system, and that's what gives you your smooth, even cuts. So you begin by, first of all, slide those four bearings into the groove on the edges of the rail on the Yankee Slice system. Next, you move the Yankee Slice table in, such as this edge of the uh, Yankee Wedge table is close, but not quite touching the bandsaw blade usually about a sixteenth an inch to an eighth of an inch away from the bandsaw blade. And then lock the table in position, first of all with the course adjustment knobs, and then with the mag jig clamps. Next I want to check the bandsaw blade to make sure it's perfectly perpendicular to the AccuWedge table. So you have to get that adjusted so it's perfectly perpendicular. If not, you need to adjust the bandsaw table. Most bandsaws have two knobs underneath that should loosen, adjust the table, retighten the knobs back up after it's uh, perfectly perpendicular to the AccuWedge table. We're now ready to run our first set of segmented uh, wedges to make a segmented ring. So the first thing I need to do is select the number of segments I want in my ring. So for this sample I'm going to make uh, six segments. So I just move my fence to the 6th position and then lock it in place. Make sure this is unlocked. Move that to the 6th position and again lock it in place. Position the wood to be cut along one of the fences and we're going to make our fence, our first cut just to square off the board. You notice I put a line on the border. That's just as a reference point so I know that's always the top of my board and it's offset so I know which is left and right side. You have the option of either using clamps or not using clamps. You can hold the wood and push it through, but for more accurate cuts, I prefer to use the clamps. So I'm going to clamp my wood in position and start my first cut. You next need to determine the diameter of the ring and the width of the segments that you need to cut. I typically use the Wood Turner Pro software 
to determine the dimensions of the wedges for a particular ring diameter. You set up a stop and we move our board to the other fence. So I push the board against the stop and then lock it in place with my clamps. Pushing against the fence and down on the table to lock it in place. And then we've produced our first segment. <clears throat> and now I take, remove the, uh, loosen the clamps, move the board to the other fence, move it against the stop, and just keep repeating that process until I have all the uh, six segments that I need uh, for the segment at ring. To cut the wedges, I'm presently using a 10 teeth per inch blade. I've also used a 14 teeth per inch blade. The 10 teeth per inch blade gives me a pretty decent cut. A 14 will give me a much finer cut. The one thing you do get on these pieces, at the end of the bandsaw blade, you get a slight burr. You can see the burr here. And that needs to be sanded off. You also get some fuzzies on the edge which need to be sanded off. But that's the only sanding that's required uh, for these wedges. So I'll put this on some uh, 220 uh, grit paper, sand off those fuzzies and, and burr, and then I'll assemble a finished ring. And there we have our, our finished assembled segments. I put a rubber band around it just to hold them together, but the joints are perfectly aligned on both sides. Small hole in the center. Earlier I did another sample with no hole in the center, perfectly meeting in the center. This is something that would be near impossible to do on a table saw. And finally here's some other segments I made earlier uh, where there's no gap in the center. I went right to the center. Here's seven segments per ring, eight segments, and nine segments. Perfect joints, perfect matching of all the joints. As I stated earlier, this is a prototype version of the Accu Wedge. The final commercial version of the Accu Wedge is scheduled for production in the fall of 2017. Check out our website for updates on the availability of the Accu Wedge and the other new additions to the Accu Slice family. This includes the Accu Slot, a Celtic ring carriage, and the Accu Sled, a flat plate carriage for custom cuts on the bandsaw.